Hi, my name is Dave Penton from Fluid Dynamics, and welcome to this week's edition of the Summer Series on Watershape University. I'll be going over two separate details on this beautiful perimeter overflow pool that we recently completed here in Los Angeles somewhere. So, uh, we get this detail an awful lot where we've got a slot overflow detail uh, on the back side, actually a Lautner edge detail there, uh, combined with an infinity edge detail. Um, lots of questions about how we transition the two there, and we will, uh, I'll show you in just a second how we did that. Uh, but then we also see this a lot. Um, the, uh, just the way this is constructed, there is not a way to get a deep infinity edge basin here. Um, we are over structure, and so we could not deepen this infinity edge basin in order to uh, capture the uh, enough amount of water for the surge and everything. So you can't see it, but over here under the lawn, we have a detached surge tank, but the client wanted to have lighting uh, to uplight the infinity edge. And uh, so we wanted to keep a little bit of water in this basin, not only for code reasons, because we need at least four inches of coverage, um, but also for the uh, effects of the dancing water. You can see uh, the rippling here creates a very unique um, dancing water effect on the edge of this raised perimeter overflow detail. And we've got uh, lights here in the corners of the edge basin and illuminating this whole raised wall. So the way we do this is we actually have what look like main drains here, uh, but they're not. They're simple gravity lines. But rather than having the gravity line go straight down and over to the surge tank, we actually brought the gravity line over and up into the infinity edge wall here and then came up and did a, uh, a trap detail. The invert of the T is right here at the water level. So this allows us to keep water here in the basin itself while at the same time not having to rely on this detail as the, um, as the only surge capacity for the overall pool. So this water is probably about seven inches deep and it creates a really nice effect here. The other nice thing about this detail is there is no fluctuation of the edge um, when the system is on or off. It always stays at the same elevation. So it solves a lot of problems and a lot of frustrations and it's a fairly simple detail. You can see um, with our pictures here how we ended up doing it in rough and uh, it's, it's really not that terribly difficult. You do have to make sure that your plumbing is sized appropriately so that you are not um, you're not using too big of plumbing within the structural wall of the infinity edge because that's a very critical detail. Uh, but on this pool, um, we had 12 inch walls and uh, we were able to utilize two and a half inch for all of our pickup lines. Uh, again, they come over up into the wall uh, and then they all just come out into this area right here all along the pool. Uh, and we have a main uh, trunk line running all along here uh, and that drops into the surge tank there. So hopefully that solves some of the issues um, and, and it's, a, it's a good simple tip that does add a little bit more plumbing, but again, it makes for a really cool uh, detail and um, uh, allows you to do a catch basin that does not necessarily have to be uh, capture the entire surge capacity for the pool. Mm -hmm.